This is horrible. I'm all in a tremor. The city is dead. Everywhere these skulls with gaping mouths, piles of skeletons dressed in snippets of clothes, these scenes returned again and again before my eyes. Who or what could kill them all? What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Day R Survival. I'm your host, the bird, known as Falcon. If you guys are anything like me, you're a little bit heartbroken because you've done everything imaginable in Neo Scavenger. You've done all the quests, you've done all the important stuff, you've even checked out mods, you've done all the cool mods, and you're thinking to yourself, man, I would love to play Neo Scavenger again, but there's just nothing left for me to do. That is where Day R Survival comes into play. This right here is what I would call Neo Scavenger in Russia. It's got its own unique storyline and also really cool little features on that are unique to the game itself. Now here's the kicker. And relax while I say this. Don't run off. I know you guys what you're gonna do. You're gonna wanna run off. Don't do it. This right here is a phone game. Stop it. Stop it right now. Believe me. I feel the same way about you when it comes to phone games. I don't play them at all. The only phone games I've really played are like 10 million and Cook Serve Delicious. But those games were so good they actually got PC ports. So keep that in mind. I'm very picky when it comes to phone games. Um, a while back somebody actually suggested this game to me and they were like, Hey Falcon, if you like Neil Scavenger, check this out. I didn't give it a try back then because, again, it was a phone game. But recently, I gave it a try, and you know what? This is actually really, really good for a phone game. I'm actually quite surprised. So let me get into the game, and we'll talk more about this here pretty soon. We'll go into new game. That is perfectly fine. I'm gonna give myself a challenge here. I'm not too familiar with the game, but you know what? I feel like a challenge is um, definitely in order here. I'm gonna go into real-life difficulty, which is one wrong step and you're dead. Hunger, thirst, and diseases are realistic. So. We'll talk more about this here right now, but there's a bit of a storyline here. I don't remember anything. What happened here? Who am I? Which is kind of like how Neil Scavenger starts off too. You wake up from cryo freezing, you're like, where, where am I? Who is this? Oh my god, there's a wolf man chasing me. Uh, there is only ruins all around. Nobody's in here. Alrighty, so. Um, right now, the game's gonna run us through a little bit of a tutorial. Now mind you, the tutorial is not indicative of the game. The tutorial will kind of take you by the hand right now and teach you everything you need to know. But once it's over, it's kind of like, okay, well, we taught you everything you need to know. Good luck out there surviving. So don't worry, the tutorial is going to feel like it's taking me by the hand. But believe me, the game is actually pretty difficult. And it doesn't teach you anything else beyond this point over here. So we have to concentrate. We have a couple of quests here. We don't remember anything, obviously. So we have to, first and foremost, see if we could find people. See if we find out what's happening here. Because everything is obviously destroyed. We have an intact house over here. Let's come over here and check this out. Now we want to explore. Now, whenever you're in a location, you have a chance to obviously search for it. And back here, it'll tell you behind this little um, gradient effect what you could find in those areas. So for instance, over here, we could find canned, I think that says canned meat, paper, clothing, and matches. So right now we're gonna search. Now mind you, when you're searching, everything takes place in real time. You saw this over here counting down. This is a real time counter. Everything in this game is real time. You get um, tired in real time. You get thirsty in real time. You get hungry in real time. And there's no pausing, so everything's constantly on the go, so you can't really dilly-dally too much over here. So it's up to you whether you want to search an area more than once, because sometimes it's going to be nighttime, and at nighttime the monsters come out, which is no good. So here's what we found over here, let's pick everything up. So we're starving, we want to get some food in us, right? Let's go to our inventory. And the other thing we have available around is going to be the canned meat. So this will restore 30 hunger and also 5 thirst, let's actually have this now. From looking around, I can see that this town is abandoned. If I want to find people, I have to get more food. So we have to go to the canteen now, which is going to be right over here. Maybe, just maybe, there's people here that can tell us what's happening, huh? Yeah, don't don't hold your breath on that one. So, here at the canteen. When I came closer to the canteen, I heard dogs bark in the distance. I should hurry up. So we want to explore. Now over here at the canteen, so we should be able to find some good food for us to hopefully cook down the line. And this will teach us how to basically make our own food afterwards. So we're going to pick everything up. The sun has already reached its zenith. In a few hours, the streets will be full of beasts, a lot more dangerous than dogs. I have to find some stuff to make camp out of town. So, let's go over to explore again and get on out of here. Now, it wants me to go to the construction site. You can sleep in locations like the construction site's houses. Now, the problem with doing that is that you won't get a really good sleep. You'll wake up really fast, so you will not get too much rest. What you want to do is find, like, or make yourself a little bit of a tent area, so you're actually nice and secure while you sleep. And what, what that'll do is that you'll reduce your, your fatigue a lot faster, and you'll build your hunger and thirst up slower than you would without the actual tent area. 
So right now we're going to explore the construction site first because we do need some firewood. So let's go over here and search. And we'll search again. And again, <laughs> apparently we'll search some more. There we go. So we'll pick everything up that we found. I can't stay here any longer. I have to get away from this town before the dogs or the damn rats find me. So now it wants me to make some tinder for us to um, make ourselves a campfire so we can start cooking here. So we'll go to inventory and what we're looking for is um, paper to turn into tinder. Luckily we have 21. I think all we need is just one, but I'll just make five. Oh, you want me to make one only, huh? Okay, <laughs> one it is, tutorial. And this over here unlocks survival. Um, recipes for us. Everything you do gives you experience. So the more you cook, the more you um, turn stuff into um, other stuff, it'll give you experience which will level up different type of things, which will unlock a lot more recipes for you to build down the line. Uh, I think I can make it burn. I'll try to do it. Find the firewood in your inventory and kindle a fire. It's like Dark Souls here suddenly. So here is firewood and we're gonna go ahead and kindle because we do have a kindle. Now I could rub sticks, which will take me 172 minutes. I could also use a, a flint, 29. But since we luckily we have matches, I'll use one of those for 15 minutes instead. So it'll make it a lot faster. So we have water, but we have to purify it now. And here you have nine dirty water. We want to boil everything down over here. So luckily we already have the fire that we made. So now we're going to go ahead and start boiling. You also need containers to boil the water, which right now I'm pretty sure it just broke. I'm not sure if you guys heard that little clank sound. One of my saucepans broke, but luckily I do have a few extra ones to continue cooking. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and just purify all the water that we have. Okay. Now, as you can see over here, we are getting a bit tired, but more importantly, we're hungry and quite thirsty. This is where the buckwheat is going to come into play. So, we have 10 of it. Let's go ahead and turn all that buckwheat into consumable buckwheat over here. Obviously, since we're doing 10, it's taking us a lot more, long, lot more time, I should say. And this over here is building up, so we're now starving. What happens is if you're at 100 in starvation or thirst for a very long time, this little skull over here will start building up. And when it reaches like a certain amount, you die. So we have intense hunger here at the moment. And we're also quite thirsty. Let's go to my inventory, and we're also quite tired. <laughs> Things are looking too good right now. So, um, yeah, let me click that. Inventory time. So. We have to take care of these things. Luckily, we already made the buckwheat, so we will eat this. It's going to drop us by 25 and 15, respectively. So that's pretty good. Now, we have the fireplace. We could also just rest here straight up. What I would like to do is make myself a small camp area. Now, the problem is, do I have... No, I, I really don't. I think the game wants me to rest here first, more than likely. Is that what you want me to do, game? Just rest? Probably does. Because I could try right now to... Let's see... All right, let me try to make the flints into flint blades. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we need weapons. So this will give us a knife pretty soon, and it'll also give us a axe, which is going to be for collecting wood down the line. So I'll do this twice here. And we got mechanics leveled up, which is going to unlock the axe and the dagger, and also a crossbow as well. Now we'll come over to inventory again, and we want to make these items we just um, opened up here. So we're going to mechanics, and we want to make the axe so we can actually get some wood. Giggity giggity. And the dagger as well. Cool. So now we can definitely chop for some wood. So let's come down over here and click this bad boy. Chop for wood. And now we could probably make our hut as well. Do we have enough? Yeah, we definitely have enough. Now before we run off though, let me go to character here or inventory. Should be inventory. And we want to equip one of these weapons. I'm going to use the dagger for now. It's not really that great. But I'd rather save the axe just for chopping wood. We could use the axe as a weapon too, mind you. So, now that we've done this, let's come over here and make ourselves a tent so we could actually sleep properly. And now we have a fireplace, we have a decent tent area, so now we could definitely rest. And now the game is basically, hey, good luck to ya. It's really good hut of branches, it, pre it protects me from wind. I'm gonna have to rest now and tomorrow I'll find people. Fortunately, I know what to do in such situations. Otherwise, I could sleep on a cold concrete floor flinching from every noise. So that's telling you right now that you might as well sleep in tons to really have a good sleep here. Um, and then after we're out of here, we got to leave. Which is going to be down over here. Let me zoom on out. So that's going to be our next destination right here. We started at Nickel. Nickel. And we're going over to Zapoljarni. Oh boy. And over here we have a safe spot as well. So let's zoom on in. Center on to myself. And before we book, Let's go and get some rest here, because we made this for a reason, right? 
Um, no, we don't want to break it down. We just want to get some rest. I think you just have to straight up rest for this. Now, before we get some rest, let me have some water, which we're very low on. And maybe some of the buckwheat, too. And now we'll rest. And as you can see right now, this is actually dropping really fast. If you compare this to just resting without the tent, it would go a lot slower. And this over here builds up a lot faster. And you can't really dictate when you wake up. It's always whenever you hit 100 at one of these over here that you'll wake up. So obviously it's more convenient for you to actually use a hut over here. So this will bring us down pretty, pretty low. We're going to probably start starving, so it's time for us to wake up now. But it is also 12 in the afternoon, so we have all the daytime, I imagine, right now ahead of us. So before we book, though, let's actually get some food in us. And I think we're good to hit the road now, guys. We're definitely good. So before we leave, let's break this down for a bit more firewood. And let's also break down the campfire for some coal. Pick it up. We're at 41 capacity. I feel like we're good to go here. So let's get on out of here. Uh, there's a couple more areas here we could check out. We could find some water over here, which wouldn't be a bad idea because we're very low on water. But I think we'll find some in the next area. So let's go over here to um, zooming out. And now we make the road from Nickel over to Zapoljarnia. And at this point, the game is basically telling you, good luck. We've taught you everything you need to know. Now you make it work. Now, while I'm in the wasteland over here, if I want to, I could explore out here for random stuff and, you know, other knickknacks. Quest. Searching for the truth, and now we finished up Remember All. Now you're on your own, good luck. And this will tell you, like, hey, we already, you know, basically told you how to survive. Good luck to you. So that's complete. Now we're going for Searching of the Truth. This is horrible. I'm all in a tremor. The city is dead. Everywhere these skulls with gaping mouths, piles of skeletons dressed in snippets of clothes. These scenes returned again and again before my eyes. Who or what could kill them all? What should I do now? I don't know. Now I go to Murmansk. I hope someone out there can explain to me what happened. I hope there is someone to explain me that. Alrighty. And this right here will be the next big destination if we zoom out. So we have a lot of road ahead of us. And there's a lot of stuff to check out in this game. Which is what I'm telling you. What's really surprising about the game. There's a lot of content. So, with this done, let's center up to ourselves. And let's zoom on in. We are in our very first little town area here. So, at this point I'm running kind of blind. So, we this is where the adventure really begins. Now, I'm pretty sure this right here is a water collecting area. We found a crater. And we're very low on water. And this, is, I think, is a school, if I'm right. So let me explore here. We can find some dirty water, which is fine. We do need water because we're really on it. We got, like, one? Oh, come on, dude. Get your search game up. That's not too bad. I'll search a bit more. 18 is actually really good. Let's pick this up here. And I think that's good enough for now. Let's go back out here to exploring. Now let's check out this school. I'm looking to hopefully get us some equipment here, because we're running around quite buck naked in this. Well, not technically speaking, we do have some pants and a shirt, but we could look for better stuff here. Now, here at the school, we could find rats for hunting if we want to. We're also quite thirsty. Um, hold up a second. Let's drink this meanwhile, and let's have some of the buckwheat as well. Almost out of food completely, although we do have bread. We do have bread, but it makes you a bit thirsty. But, eh, you know, let's just have one of them for now. Okay, let's go back to exploring. And here we can find it in Ushanka, which if I'm right is uh, one of those little Russian hats, which I always like. <laughs> they look pretty cool. Now, how long will it take me to find one? We got buckwheat, which is always great to see. We could also find some wheat here, too. Wheat, not, not weed. I'm not sure if um, Russia's really big on the weed here. But it's a school, so if it's kids, I really doubt they're, you know, over here puffing the ganja, you know? Is that tea? I believe we just found some tea. So this will be the last re uh, search for us. And, oh, here it is! Very cool. Let's go to inventory, and let's go ahead and equip this. Oh, I gotta collect it first. My bad, my bad. Get, get your ass back in here, Falcon. Pick everything up. And let's equip our Uchanka. Wear it. Yeah! Alright, so we have a little flannel shirt, some jeans, and some pants, and the Uchanka. Oh, we got a backpack, too. It helps to carry more items while you're wearing it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, wear that, too. Oh, and now our capacity went down a bit. Very cool. Alrighty, so... This is good. Very good start. Um, we have a way for us to boil water here. Let's go ahead. Oh, firewood's at 10. Yeah, let's do this. Let's actually come over here and make ourselves a fire. Oh, you know what? Instead of using the firewood we have, since we found furniture here, we could actually break this down. Which is actually really cool. So, and this will give us more experience towards mechanic, which will open up more stuff down the line. So let me do one, and this will give us five extra firewood, which should be enough for what we're looking for. Let me just do one more. 
And now that we've done that, let's go to survival, make ourselves our little fire here. And we'll use a match, less time. So now we have a match, and it's time for us to boil some of this water down. So we might as well just do 10 now. It's going to take us a while, but that's fine. We still have... Eh, we still have some time here before we're too out of our luck. Do five more. Cool, and we have three more left over. Can we get these done now? I wonder. I'd like to. We got it. Cool. So we have all the clean water now. And let's see. Since we have a fire and we have a saucepan, it is time for us to make some good grub here. Uh, this is going to be for the wheat groats, huh? Make five. Yeah, I know I'm going to be starving here pretty soon, but don't you worry. We got cookery level one, which opened up the force meat recipe. That looks delicious. The cutlet recipe. The mushroom recipe. Very cool. Let's get some of this food in us. 25 and 20. Very cool. We got some porridge, huh? Well, hopefully there's no bears in the area. So we'll eat this. That and that. And I feel like before we even leave, we probably just cook everything over here. We'll need to get some rest more than likely before we book it from this town. But um, we might as well cook everything we can here for now. Oh, we got some rice, too. Yeah, do that. I mean, I'm going through all my water, which is, you know, we want to keep some water here for the future. Oh, shit, we're early down to one. Uh, I should have probably, you know, worked that a bit fat, better in my mind. Uh, let's actually just um, eat that. And let's go and hit the road now. Okay. Now, if you're thinking, Falcon, why don't you hunt some rats? Uh, we'll do that soon. We'll do that soon. So, what's available here? I wish you could know what the hell you're walking into, but you don't. You, you don't know what the hell you're walking into. Uh, more water would be over here, right? We're getting a little bit tired, too. Let's see what this store over here is. Now, as I mentioned, you could explore the roads and you'll find, like, cars. And then you could get gasoline from the cars, if I'm right. Oh, this is a post office. You could get gasoline from the cars, which um, you could use to make yourself a torch, which will increase your, um, your surveying um, skill. You'll be able to find more stuff and faster as well with a torch. Uh, the thing is, do we have a torch available? We do, but it requires fuel. So we have to hit the road and find a car and um, siphon the fuel from it. So let's see. For now, I think um, we want to definitely search this area. We can find furniture, paper, a clothes package, clothing, and a broken bicycle. If I'm correct, you could also make a bicycle in this game. But you have to fix it up, which requires the mechanics to be high up. And you also need tools and stuff like that. But you can make a bike to actually travel faster, which is pretty cool. And there it is. Check it out. So you need tools to fix this, so... Unfortunately for us, we don't got tools. Got no tools at all. So, let's pick everything here that we can. Obviously not the bike. And we have, uh, three of these packages. Let's open them up! It's like Christmas here in, um, Russia. No, don't drop them. I dropped one, didn't I? Of course I would. It's like, um, Christmas, uh, Russian Christmas here. So we'll open this bad boy up. We got some holiday gloves! Look, it really is Christmas! Got some threads, and... Pickle tomatoes! How about that? That's a delicacy right there. Let's go ahead and equip these gloves here first, though. It gives us radiation resistance and protection against biting and a stealth bonus, too, huh? How about that? Wear it. Cool. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How are we doing here? We're getting a bit tired. Might want to make a fireplace here pretty soon and get a little bit of rest, too. Maybe. Well, we found everything here we could, right? These will probably just be apartments, if I'm correct. Let's get some fuel. I really want to grab myself a torch if I can. So, here we are on the road. Let's explore. We're getting quite tired. We found a broken car, ZAZ, and a broken automobile, UAZ. Let's search him. Let me get some fuel, baby. Oh, we can siphon the fuel. Okay, um, drain the fuel. Ooh, nice. Drain this one again, too. We're getting really tired here, so now I'm kind of worried. But we got a lot of fuel here. Let's pick this all up. Let's go to inventory. And we won't make the torches yet, we'll make it once we start searching something out here. But we are quite tired. Uh, we have some, some firewood left over. I'm gonna start, like, looking for a place to chop down some wood. I mean, the the school had furniture. We could broke it down for wood, too, didn't it? Mmm. Let me come in here first. A house. Okay, we should be able to get some wood from here. Let's do, do an exploration, let's search. Furniture? No furniture. Oh, dude, come on. I'm quite tired. Come on, dude. Why? Come on. Where's the furniture at? Oh, you've got to be shitting me here, man. There we go. It'll have to do. So we'll break this down. Mm, let's search a bit more. Come on, buddy. There we go. So we'll break this down, too. Really tired now, but that's okay. Now we can come over here and make ourselves the old fire. I'll use the match again. And now we make this bad boy too. Oh, oh! I don't have enough firewood. Oh, I have to collect it, right? I always forget about the collection part. 
pick everything up here. And now we make... What do you mean? What do you mean I only have 10? Should I have more than that? Oh, because I made the fire first. Oh, boy. Well, that's concerning. Can I chop down wood here? Nope, no wood to cut here. And we've gone through everything here. Oh, no, no, there's probably... Let's continue searching. We could find maybe one more bit of furniture. Yes, we got it. Okay. So, break down and break down. Pick it up. Okay, now we're good. I was worried there for a second. So, we'll make this. We'll get some food. And we actually have to eat first and drink first. And then we leave for the road. Okay, so let's um, have some of the cooked rice. Yeah, sure. And let's have the rest of the buckwheat here. And now we definitely get that much needed rest here. Now, we're practically done here. What I wanted to do was just pick up enough stuff to for the road and get enough rest. Oh, we have more of the story. Help. Anybody, please help. What happened? Who is that? Dad? Dad, is that you? Sasha, sweetie, it's me. Dad, please come back to us. I'm so scared. Sasha, where are you? Come back. I'll find you. Family matters. I woke up in a terrible sweat. This nightmare made me remember my family. My wife, Galia, and my daughter, Sasha. I have to find them. We have an apartment in Vladivostok. I have to go there. And this, I believe, is the end point of the game. You see how far this is, though, from where we're at? <laughs> you see how far this is? Like, this is all the way down here, and we're over here. We have a lot of traveling here to do for this quest. Alright, you guys. Well, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, let me know in the comments, and I will make a little small series out of this. It's a really fun game, as I mentioned, but, um, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys. It's a, it's a mobile game. I'm a bit worried that people will be like, Ah, I don't want to spend time with this, so... I don't know, I'll leave it up to you guys here to decide. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna come to this area to get my save, because you can only rest, or you can only save at these um, specific spots. I'm gonna come down here to get my save on, and if you guys wanna see some more, let me know, and we will cover more of this going down the line. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I will catch you next time.